I came to the UK at the age of five. I have four children. My first child, my first child Zach, has been diagnosed with autism at the age of two and a half. I have not heard of autism before. In fact, there is no word that describes autism in the Somali language. My friends and family were in denial of Saki's um, condition due to the lack of awareness in the community. However, practitioner, practitioners involved in Saki's healthcare made very clear that Saki was severely autistic and that it was a lifelong disability. They also said it is very possible for Saki to end up in home care. At that point, Sack had no language, no eye contact, and was not sleeping half of the night. Of course, all these signs meant there was something wrong with Sack. It took years to accept and overcome Sack's diagnosis. I had to do something. I started my journey by researching about autism, reading books, attending conferences, and educating myself to give Sack a voice. I learned different ways to communicate with Saki. And then one day, Sack started using sign languages, then words, and then sentences. And there was light at the end of the tunnel. Today, Sack is 14 years old. He enjoys a variety of activities, including swimming, trampoline lessons. He reads and writes. But most of all, he is very happy, and he has his own voice. His new sentences include, I love you, mommy, and I love you, cheese. Today I do what I do, what I enjoy the most, and that, is, and that is supporting isolated families that has been affected by autism, who once I mirror my journey through them. This is an area I like to further my knowledge, but in the meantime, I, like to, I, in the meantime, I want to do something practical to make, a, to make a difference. I am what I do, and that's me, Noura Abe. My organization, Autism Independence, raises awareness, empowers, and educates families from ethnic minorities, ethnic minorities affected by autism. It promotes overcoming stigmas and taboo of disabilities. It creates an environment where parents network, socialize, and support each other. Every child and every adult affected by autism deserves a voice. And that is the voice, and, and that's the vision I have for autism independence. I'd like to share a quote by Dr. Lorna Wing, who had a child with autism. She says, leaving and working with people with autism disorders is not like leaving and working with anyone else with or without disabilities. Past experiences of social interaction and a desire to help are not sufficient guides. It is essential to understand the nature of autistic conditions. People with these disorders, because of their social impairments, cannot meet you halfway. You have to make an ima imaginative leap into, the, into their world and try and see things from their point of view. Let me take this opportunity to ask you all for your support and get involved with autism independence, even if it's mean just to have the conversation. Let us change. Family's life is together for the better. I have one minute video playing my stall upstairs. Please come and see what is what's uh, come and see what is Sack is capable today. Thank you.